casting a spell on us for decades, both as the lead singer of the hit Aussie techno band Def FX and as a radio and TV host, as well as a self-confessed white witch. But Fiona Horn is also a commercial pilot, oh. as well as an author, a former lover of Tom Jones. Oh, oh good grief! Oh, a world record holding skydiver, professional fire dancer, yoga instructor, <laughs> and mentee of Marilyn Manson. How's that for a Twitter bio? Wow. Put your hands together for the fabulous Fiona Horn. Oh, Fiona, do you know how inadequate we all feel? <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Oh. I mean, I hear it all... That's a right like up that. and a half. What have what we been stuff. doing with our time? Oh, I know. <laughs> I feel very, very, very um, boring at the moment. Now, tell us about, um, first of all, because you would be Australia's most famous white witch, I would say. So let's begin with the witchcraft. I find this fascinating. What is the definition of a witch and is it scary? Yeah, it, it's not scary. A modern witch honours nature as sacred. We recognise the goddess as well as the god. We do spells and rituals to help and heal ourselves and others. Um, and. I guess in the, in the new book, In Art of Witch, I've kind of tried to sum up everything I've learned in the last 30 years. So it's kind of like a manifesto. So as I sit here, I'm kind of saying the same things I said 20 years ago about what we are, but I can say now there's a lot more of us. And back then, you know, 20 years ago, it was like, witches were, you know, shrouded in myth, suspicion of fear, it was spooky, it was mm -hmm. scary. You Burned know? at the stake. And yeah, well, yeah, there was all that. And uh, and now, though, who doesn't know a proud, self-professed witch? I mean, mm. it's it, we're everywhere. There's a very large, vibrant, magical community growing, and it's very positive. Wow. Fiona, I don't know a white witch. You do? <laughs> You're sitting next well, to me. Well, I do <laughs> now. I've met my first one. But this is, like, so do you produce spells, like that's something spell you can casting, do. Yeah, spell casting is a big part of witchcraft. It's not the only part, it's a spiritual path, you know. So we, in environmentally challenged times with the emphasis we place on honouring nature as sacred, we live in harmony with the earth, um, that is, it, it's a part of it. Spell casting is interesting and fun. I actually recommend now that people do rituals of gratitude for what they have rather than mm. what they don't. You know, we think mm. of spells as being mm -hmm. this quick fix to manifest a new lover or get a better job or make more money, win the lotto or something. But I encourage people to, to do rituals of gratitude. And I talk about it in the new book, but it's like rituals of gratitude to attract more reasons to be grateful. And I've really found in the last 30 years of practicing this stuff that that's the secret to making your spells work 100% of the time is to celebrate what you have and become a magnet for more of what makes you happy. What you think, think about comes about. Absolutely. The world, mm. you know, it becomes a magical place when you ask it to be magical for and you. And I think yeah. daily gratitude also makes That's you right. happy. It's the secret absolutely. to happiness. Everyone because says it's, so. you're yeah. always in a positive mindset. Yeah. Now, I've watched The Wizard of Oz as much as the next person, uh, but what's yeah. the technical definition between a good witch and a bad witch? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a good question, and um, sometimes I shy away from it because it implies there's, like, good witches, bad witches, yeah. and a good and bad thing, and people do good and bad things, yes, no right. matter what spiritual path they're, they're yeah. interested in or what they practice. Yeah. But, um, but so the stripy socks are giveaway. The stripy socks are giveaway. <laughs> I actually have unicorn socks right. on under my, and my long, knee-high boots, really. you know? So that's very witchy right there. That must mean I'm a good witch because yeah. I have mm. good fashion taste. Yes, I feel like kind of be a grey witch. I'll be yeah, sort of somewhere yeah, in the middle. A yeah, rainbow yeah, witch. Think. What about a rainbow? No, that's right. Yeah. Now, in the, in the 1990s, what about a box which is the. wine witch? <laughs> Look that up. I'm a box of wine. Um, that happened earlier, sorry. Now, in the 1990s, which is the greatest decade known to humanity. I agree. Thank you 1996, great year. We're yep. lucky mm. that we lived in through the 90s and got Oh, all that get over it. The 50s. <laughs> yeah, no, <I> had... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was um, I was a young uh, teenage uni student living in a share house in Carlton Fitzroy, and you were rock and roll yeah. royalty. Um, we all had a massive crush on you. Oh. Um, are you still just a rock chick at heart? I am a rock chick at heart. In fact, so much so that Deaf Effects have reformed. I've actually got oh. band oh. practice after this, and oh we're doing God. a farewell tour this month. Um, yeah. So, in line with like the spoken word events I'm doing for my book and everything, um, we're doing a Deaf Effects tour. Oh as my well. God, that Farewell is awesome. Farewell to it. You guys should come. Oh, really? Oh, nice. We're I'm playing there. that song, Surface of the Mind. Hell yeah, you know. My best friend just saw you walking down the street with, I think, Matt Mavis, and she actually fainted. I had to. Oh my <laughs> God. Well, yeah. Maddie's, Maddie's playing with us in Melbourne. No way. Yeah, he's oh. got his band, um, Matt from the Mavis, is going to be playing with us. That is so cool. So, really encouraging people to come to the Deaf Effects tour because it's going to be a celebration of family, like old school. Hashtag you know? OMG. Yeah, OMG. <laughs> All the wow. details are at my website if I'm allowed to plug it. Of course. 
Journal.com. Oh, yes. I'm so there, girlfriend. I dates for the spoken word and for deaf effects, and it's just for the month of June because I have to go back to the Caribbean and get back to my day job. What a life. being a commercial pilot. Oh, But we can't have you here without asking about some of the men in your life. We alluded to it in the intro. Talking to people like Tom Jones, Paul Stanley, Marilyn Manson. Are you still in contact with these guys? Um, you know, it's funny that they they play really played really pivotal roles in my life. I mean, I mentioned in my autobiography yeah. that came out a couple of years ago. Yeah. You know, these three three guys specifically, and I'm not in contact with them regularly at all. But um, back back then, you know, like we certainly interacted a lot. But I, I think that when I think of those guys, they're they were you know they're just regular guys doing extraordinary sure. jobs, and um, they're all really good guys in different ways. And I was very grateful for their guidance and help. Um, Tom's, and two of them were Tom's more makeup lovely. Than I you. just <laughs> think Tom's that was so lovely. I mean, he's a real gentleman, and they're just you know. I was also really lucky to know Hugh Hefner too. And oh, wow. oh really? Because when I was in, um, I did Playboy twice in Australia and then in the US. And meeting Hef and being invited to the mansion, and you know, when he passed, it was really. Um, you know, it's a celebration of a, of a life well lived. I mean, I know he was controversial, but I only ever found mm. him to be very kind, very pleasant man, and he was very proud of me becoming a pilot. Aww. He really applauded my goals to be a pilot, and when I became a commercial pilot, he personally, you know, uh, congratulated Beautiful. me. Did he yeah. give you a plane? Uh, <laughs> that's actually, I should have said, I'll fly your jet for you. You just have to buy it back, because he sold it. Um, while we have you here, yeah. can we do a very quick read? Oh, yes, Ooh. let's going do to look it. At the okay. This cards. is my, yeah, my magic of you oracle deck, which I'm, my debut oracle deck, and I, these, the deck and the book, the new book, is going to be at my spoken word events too. So we can pull a card. Who would like to go? Oh, first? I'd love to. You, Denise, I'm just, just have a little. Just um, pull a card out of here. Can I take one? And this will be daily guidance for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you too, Sarah. Oh. There you go. Well, if we're all going to get a card, do I show you? Oh, yeah, you can hold it up. Show the show Australia if you like. Which oh, sacrifice? What are you willing to let go of to make room for more? So this is a really interesting one. Sometimes we think in our pursuit of living a fulfilled life, we need more and more and more. But sometimes we have to let things go. That can be as simple as cleaning out your closet. I know you had that awesome segment on earlier. It's like um, letting go of something to make room for what the universe wants to bring you. So give up micromanaging your life. Stand back, let go of something, and allow something to come through. Oh. So how could you do that today, do you Well, think? I could let go of John. Oh. But, I, <laughs> but I've been with him for 38 years. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to The larger the sacrifice, the greater the reward. That's also the oh, secret. Okay, go. what about you? Oh, witch! Oh. oh my gosh, you got the lucky card. Oh, is this a lucky That's card? That's the lucky card, the witch card. All the oh. magic you seek is inside you. Let it flow. That means you're a very magical person, Sarah. Really? I yeah, I think you're an honorary black... witch for the day. I have these big black hairs on my chin sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah. You can just wax them <laughs> off, so darling. I, I do that like every I could morning. Be a bad witch. No, well, if you want. <laughs> you can be, oh, you can be very naughty. You can be a naughty so witch. So let go. Yeah, that's right. Let go. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, your, it's your let your magic flow. It's all inside you. Huh. So you're quite a magical person, oh, in case we fat. didn't already know. I wish we could keep you here. You're brilliant. Oh, oh, um, well, maybe we'll I'll come back another time. Come back. <laughs> Don't forget, details on Fiona's speaking tour and where to purchase The Art of Witch are at her website, which is fionahorn.com. Fiona, come back and see us soon. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Fiona. Thanks, Fiona. Now, next up, the Aussies bearing all in life drawing classes. Find out what it takes to get your gear off in front of artists. That's after the break. Maybe you should put your really fast. Let them go. <laughs>